edition of The View. It's the Fat Friday edition of The View. <laughs> As you can yeah. tell, some of us have put on a little weight since their TV commercials. <laughs> you talking about me? No, hello, 22 pounds I put on. Oh, really? But I lost the 43, I yeah. put on 22. Because I lost 22. Maybe it came to you. You found it. My 42 is on you. I hope not. <laughs> Because you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna start growing up here. I can't handle it. <laughs> You'll get it back down. Yeah. You'll get it back down. We're gonna find out today. Me, I lost about 30. Yes, One time with Jenny Craig. I, I gained about 10 back, but I'm gonna get back, right. get it off. Right. Right. Yeah. Did you lose it in your chest? Like when you lost the 22 pounds, is it going in your chest at all? It's got a little. Size? Yeah, I had lost that because it used to be like out here. I did, <laughs> but it's still big. But I, you know, I lost it in my booty. That's all right. I'm gonna keep that. No, it's that. not all right. I'm I, a black I, I'm woman. I'm sorry. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> You may have thought you lost it in your booty. I'm here to tell you it's still there. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you for <laughs> yeah, today is a cool show. Like, we're tackling things like postpartum weight loss, how to get rid of it, those, like, last few pounds or more after you have the baby, which is good. We have a dietitian here who's going to help us out do that. Yeah. What else do we have today? We have, we have people who have had gastric, gastric bypass, bypass surgery, and one of them um, is gaining it back. Yeah. You know, it's not like a you know, open and shut case with that. No, we're hearing, that, gain it back. we're hearing that's the case a lot more, I yeah. think, too, it's with the gastric bypass. It's very because you're starting to see people who've done it. And, like, I, I have a friend who did it, and she got down to, like, a size 4, and now she's back up to a 12. And you don't know what to say. You don't, you know, um, I, I don't even know what to say to her. And well, I know she's very depressed about it. all right. It's, you know, when she gets yeah, to, like, a 40. She, yeah, but she's, she's, she's still eating the same way that she Oh, she was. Yeah, yeah. Well, she well, she's she's depression way. eating now. Yeah. yeah. You know, see, I, I just got happy eating. Okay. <laughs> I lost all this weight. Look at that bag of potato chips. I can say no to it. No. And then I'd open it and eat it. And say yes. <laughs> Every day. We also have a young man who, who okay. was really, really big. Yeah. And he's about, he's lost 400 pounds. Yeah. And he didn't do a gastric bypass. No, he did not. No, he did not. not. He's going to have not. him, yeah. He's going to be with us, yeah. And then the three new diet books that we're going to talk about, the Ultimate Tea Diet, which really, I really want to hear about that one. Yeah. You drink tea. And then tea. all kinds of tea. I like oh, tea. not the tea. Okay. No, like if you have a craving for chocolate, there's a tea that tastes like chocolate. So you don't eat the chocolate, you eat, drink oh, the like tea. Oh, it's like the, um, the spray. Remember the sprays the spray. that came out? Yeah, They're right. like cheesecake. But you need, yeah. you want, you, if the, you like the not chewing the of the chocolate, letting it swirl around in yeah. your mouth, letting it melt, and then it goes down slowly. <laughs> Drinking tea ain't going to do nothing. I know. I know. Well, we'll see. But well, you just come up from the South again? <laughs> I did met I met with somebody the other day because I'm trying to like get back into a fitness program and um, the nutritionist told me that your body confuses it, they, your body interchanges hunger and thirst. So if you are if you think you're hungry, she you just said like down water because so maybe that's the theory oh, that's there. A bunch of baloney. No, well your body stops thinking hungry. I want to drink water. It equates the two. No, you get bored. I don't you're, get you're hungry. hungry. I don't, I don't, get, hungry. don't get hungry. I, I what can go. What do you mean you don't get hungry? Are you I human? Don't get, no. <laughs> but I, food doesn't interest me. Okay. And so, I, you know, when Tom and I, Tom works with me, and he gets very agitated with me because I can go the whole entire day and not stop to eat. And he's like, I'm going to kill somebody if you yeah. don't feed me. I mean, it's re he gets really scary. Do you, know, yeah. do you emotional, like I emotionally eat. I know, right. like, if, something, if I'm stressed out or worried, I'll definitely, I eat because of that. It just makes right. me feel better. Do you do that? No. Oh. No. And, and I don't eat chocolate. I don't need that. It's just very odd. I have a very odd metabolism. So how do you eat when my body thinks I'm starving? Oh, so and so it's on. holding on to yes, everything. No, no, so theory, I don't know about Whoopi, because, if, if, I mean, really, if a lot of people say, I mean, years, if I was doing this for two yeah. years, I would be as thin as you were then thinking you about it. Yeah, then, it then it would start to come off. But yeah. the way that I live, it's just not going to happen because that way. people say, I never eat, I mm -hmm. absolutely never eat, mm -hmm. and they're 400 pounds. I don't believe that. I mean, you see pictures of people in World War II in concentration yes, camps. That's consistent. They were starving. That's, you no, see that's consistent not eating. That's not eating, not drinking water. It's having nothing. We, You get nourished. You can go get something to eat. We just, I, For me, it just, you know, someone will say, will you please have something to eat because you're going to pass out. And then, oh, okay. Yeah. And then I eat something bad. I, I, I'm an emotional eater. Yeah. Like, moving out here because I'm by myself and I get really lonely, I just eat. Like, you know, I can go oh, through a, so a pizza. Who's friend? Yeah. Who's my friend? Yeah, which is, diabetes has helped me in a way because I can't eat what I normally would. I would probably be 300 pounds mm -hmm. if I could eat what I normally like to eat. Were you ever very heavy, really heavy? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I was really heavy. I think even before I started here, I was a 16. Oh, when yeah, and now? No, you look back. Now. It looked different to me when I came back from Arizona. Well, because I, I had to give up everything I like, like McDonald's 
and Wendy's right. and pasta right. and sugar and soda and everything. You know what I have to give up? Booze. If you don't drink, that's the main. If I drink a glass, last night I had a glass of wine after 10 days of not having right. any. First of all, I was up every hour with hot flashes. I think that the wine is making me have worse hot flashes. Probably. Yes. Really? Well, Number doesn't one. it open your blood vessels? I don't know what it does, but some doctors say, oh, the red wine is good for your heart. Yeah, but you eat more because you drink the wine and then you're like, oh, I'll have that. Can I have some more of that? And you're like, oh, yeah, it's like after, after nine, one glass? No, after two. Oh, okay. But you would do but it. Remember after 9-11, everybody got fat because they were like, we're going to die anyway. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. It feels like that. It's like, ah, oh, who cares? I mean, it. I mean, you would lose yeah. weight though, Joy, because you were doing the that you were, when you're doing your no carbs. Joy came in and she was like, "I found this diet. I can drink wine." And it was yeah, not true. I made that. I, I, I fooled <laughs> myself. <laughs> It makes you it say makes yes. You say yes. Look, it makes you have sex. Why not make it? Wouldn't make you eat. Wine makes you have sex. Well, alcohol. Alcohol. Yeah, I don't drink, so I, I've never, you know. I've got to shut you down. Oh, yeah. It does. It makes you sure. open, loose, just loose. The main cause of pregnancy: sure. martinis. <laughs> you give a girl a martini, she'll follow you anywhere. <laughs> True, and, and you'll eat everything you want, too. Do you drink? Very true. I uh -huh. used to drink, yeah, I used to like, but I like the fruity stuff. I like the pina coladas and the margaritas uh -huh. and the wine. I don't like, I don't like red wine. I like the party alcohol. I like the yeah. party alcohol, <laughs> wine cooler. Those are the fattening uh, ones, I'm not drinking yeah. now because I'm breastfeeding, but, right. you know, I like to, once in a while, I like to go out and have some wine. Right. But I don't drink often because it's the next day. Like, as you know, when you have a young kid, you can drink that night. It's right. the next day, you're like, oh. When I was breastfeeding, they used to say to have yeah, beer, yeah. drink beer. Yeah. They, they say help you let the milk come down. I'm, a, I'm allergic to milk beer. Probably so the kid stays milk. asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Remember back way when, like the older people put a little, you put a little uh, Nyquil, a little something well, in the Nyquil. 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 Stuff on your teeth. What they used to do is the wine days, they would put whiskey to numb the teeth when you were teething. And then a little for the baby and a little for the mother. With a man who lost over 400 pounds through diet, exercise, and a very unlikely friendship, we'll be right back.